Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> Mommy. Yeah. Good job. Can you take a picture of my rainbow? Oh, oh, they can repeat. Okay. Mom, another video we are just here hanging out and doing some quiet playtime if you guys hear some sounds in the background that's because the kids are playing they're having quiet time playing and I am just studying and reading the Bible as you guys um, probably already saw and this is kind of our routine this is how I get my daily bread um, sometimes it's chaos and the Lord has helped me learn how to drown out the background noise as the children are playing as you guys could hear I'm trying to talk through it um, but it is one of my favorite things to do when they're just hanging out and playing I used to be stressed out that I don't have enough time or I don't know how to like fit in time and just having communion with the Lord but I realized that um, God just makes a way for you and like teaches you and refines you through the different seasons you are in life and right now the season I'm in is motherhood and life is crazy and I'm giving myself grace so yeah so we are just in I try to change up the location because I like have toys all over the house so we have toys in each of the kids rooms in their closets they have little toy boxes that they just have all their favorite toys in and then we have our family room downstairs that has toys in and right now we're in my son's room and so we're just all hanging out in here and I am reading my Bible I have been wanting to read the book of Psalms again so I've been in the book of Psalms I've been reading all of the Psalms right now I started from the beginning but for some reason I genuinely enjoy the Psalms I think that there's something so refreshing to my soul in the book of Psalms and just some of the some of the things that David says and the way that he feels and the way he's pouring himself out to God and his heart out to God and it just is so um, relatable you know sometimes we're in seasons where we're like okay refresh my soul like give me the daily bread that I need to continue on this day and I and I find that very fascinating and refreshing because like even in the book of Exodus you know when he takes the um, Israelites out of Egypt and he brings them into you know the wilderness and he tells them like go out every day and get new manna and I always think that that's fascinating because they couldn't keep that bread for the next day every day they had to wake up and get new bread and obviously the Bible refers to the word of God and you know as the bread of life and so I feel like every morning as often as I try to do this it gives me it sustains me for my day um, it sustains me for for the you know just motherhood and I think sometimes we leave God out of motherhood I feel like motherhood is one of those things where I feel like when I spend time with the Lord and I have communion with him and I just pour my heart out to him and even if it's something like give me the patience to deal with um you know this individual child or help me like give me the wisdom that I need to um teach them and to strengthen their talents or you know even just give me the patience to deal with their tantrums um thank you sweetie I'll just take the markers you can have the color pencils you can, yeah I'll just take the markers because I don't want you guys to dry them out 
Um, but you can play with those. Yeah, go ahead and play with those ones. Yeah. Um, so like I was saying, um, I have like glue sticks. I just this is a dresser and there's just so much junk up there. But yeah, honey. Um, we don't we can't play with chalk right now because the chalkboard is um closed. So how about you play with your color pencils? Okay. Thank no, you. I'm just put this cap on. Okay. Um, so anyways, I just feel like motherhood is like something we leave out. Um, we leave God out of our mothering. And I feel like God has created us so that we do things in partnership with him and we can't do things without him. And I feel like sometimes the strength that we need, the motivation that we need to be good servants to our family is only something that we can get from the Lord. Like we can't find that type of, um, that type of, not even motivation, but like drive and, 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 um, patience I would say because before I was a mother I was not a patient person um and I still have a really hard time sometimes but I feel like sometimes being in the word helps me where I lack and so those things I gotta pray for and those things I have to ask God to give to me because I don't have those things and I don't think that anyone does and I don't think it's an easy job to to raise children but I think when we give that to to the Lord and say help me raise your children because right like God has given us these children as gifts and so we're steward stewarding them for him and we're giving him back what he has given us anyway so I just want to show you guys a quick um, minute of kind of like my morning basket that I have and what's in it and like some of the things that I'm reading and just like the Bible that I have and what I'm reading and I do have the King James version of the Bible I also have the NIV version of the Bible um, I am also not Catholic I'm um, non-denominational and I can go into this topic in another video but I just wanted to say that I feel like sometimes religion focuses a lot more on ritualistic things and um, things that are not important and so the most important thing is God the most important thing is Jesus that relationship that you have with Jesus and I would say relationship over religion for me personally because it's a personal relationship that you have with Jesus and I think a lot of people can get hurt by the church and have you know issues or just you know um people will disappoint you people are people and they're sinful and even say a pastor even me it's like I'm you're not gonna think everything I do is great or everything I do you're gonna agree with because I'm a person I'm sinful I need Jesus just as much as you need Jesus. I'm not perfect and I'm still being refined and I'm, like I said, I have my own struggles, my own issues. And so um, a lot of times people like overly focus and say, oh, like kind of worship their pastors and, and people that they meet online versus worshiping Jesus and and being in the word and so i hope that these um videos and the content that i produce motivates you or inspires you to build a a deeper relationship with jesus but like i said everyone's um yeah there's a lot of questions that i get on here about that so yeah niv version is the one that i use i have two i have multiple bibles but right now my favorite bible is um the spirit i have two like i said so i have the spirit filled bible which is um yeah the so it's um the new king james version spirit filled bible so it's this one um i use this one kind of as like a background like a background book i don't even know how to describe it this book has this bible has a lot more information and content in terms of like the era or the year that the that um that book was written and so as you guys saw as i was reading the king james version it um here i'll show you guys so it has interesting little things like this like explaining and going into further detail about this so this is praying the word so Mom. here was a psalm that i just read and it says and this is just a prayer that includes that verse, which I love. I love this concept of praying the word. So as I meditate on your law, Lord, day and night, I will be like a tree planted by rivers of living water that brings forth its fruit. In its season, whose leaf also will not wither, and whatever I do will prosper. And it says, adopted from Psalms um, 1, 2, 
2 and 3 so this is another thing I love about this Bible and so then and then as you guys saw in the beginning it gives you like a um, interesting little like the book of Psalms so it says the author the date it was written the theme of the book and I just love that this gives me more context and more understanding and it helps me understand the history as well. And so this is also another practical thing. It says like kingdom dynamics. So here it talks about um, dominion and responsibilities. So human worth, divine um, destiny, recognizing how important we are to God is of the most up. Um, the utmost importance it is difficult enough to fathom his greatness his glory and his goodness but even more difficult to comprehend that his greatness is uh, manifested in his unwavering love for the jewels of his creation human beings we are created in his image and he desires that we function in his character God is both creator and manager he creates order and he keeps order part of his divine will was to create us with the um, so yeah it, it, it goes on and then here is the word of wealth. So this will explain certain words. Um, and I think that's my other favorite thing about this Bible is it'll explain certain words. Like right here, um, it says meditate, right? So it, it says um, meditating on the word of God. Um, and it kind of goes into the, the word meditate and what that means and what the Hebrew word is and, and what it truly means. So right here it says, so the... Um, what we know as meditation which may be a mental exercise only but in hebrew um the he so to meditate upon the scripture is to quietly repeat them in soft droning sound so so like for us as like in the western world or what the word meditate may mean in today's day and age may you know like when you think of meditate you think of like people who are sitting there and meditating but here what it it goes into detail about or explains further is the term meditate and what it means in the Hebrew word but then it also says it also tells you what it actually means so to meditate on the word of God is not to just sit there in silence but it's to repeat those words so you're meditating on the words right so as um, as I meditate on your law Lord day and night so when you're meditating you're repeating the words of God you're instilling those words that those psalms or those words into your mind and into your heart and you're meditating on them by repeating it to yourself over and over and over and over again so you're kind of memorizing scripture in a sense and so i love this bible because it just gives me a deeper understanding of what i'm reading and it gives me a deeper knowledge of like the history and the context that this book was written in because i think it's really important when you're reading the bible to understand the context that things were written in um so yeah Anyways, I'm going to show you guys my other few things that I have for, um, this is like so all over the place. This is literally what my Bible time looks like, is just trying to, to take time and be in communion with the Lord, with the, the chaos around me. Um, so anyways, so what was I saying? Okay, let me show you my other thing that I have. So this is the other Bible that I have. Um, like I mentioned, I got this also off of Amazon. And this is just my, um, this is just an NIV version of the Bible. So the New International Translation. Yeah, New International Version. Um, and this one is just what I highlight. This is my, my favorite Bible. It's falling apart. But yeah, I just highlight it. I just take notes. And it's just normal text just tells you the word there's no addition of anything fancy on it um, and then also what I have that I use is this little basket that I thrifted so in this basket I have a pen like just my pen um, I have highlighters and sometimes I'll have sticky notes and other stuff in here I also have a few books in here that I love that I also read um, so I am reading this book right now it's called the case of the case for Christ and then this is another book that I'm reading it's called praying it's called praying circles around your children and it literally is the tiniest book in the world like I've never seen such a small book but it's such a profound and amazing book it just talks about intercession prayers praying for your children praying for their future spouses just like so it, it is if you're a parent and you know you want a good book to read that's simple and I just love this book planting seeds of faith in your children's hearts this Arthur does such an amazing job just going through you know um, different stuff and I just love how encouraging this is it says oh I love this look at this you will never be a perfect parent 
but you can be a praying parent. Prayer is your highest privilege as a parent. There is nothing you can do that will have a higher return on investment. And anyways, it's just beautiful, super beautiful book. So these are some of the books that I'm reading. Hey, sweetheart, are you crying? It's okay. Look, mommy's right here. Here's my sweet little chunk. Look at those legs, you guys. Just look at this. Oh, I just love baby feet. Look at this sweet little thighs. I love you, honey. Um, okay, so, yeah, this is what's in my little prayer. I call it my morning basket, my morning prayer basket. And this is all the things I have in here. Um, and then I just, you know, carry this around the house, take it up, upstairs, downstairs. And, yeah, so if you guys have any other recommendation of books, maybe I'll do, like, a book list on my, um, on my, like, uh, blog. You guys should definitely check it out. So this is all the things that I do. The kids are over there playing. Um, so this is like my little morning time um, and what I do in the morning. And um, if you guys have any recommendations for books and stuff that I should read, I love reading parenting books. I love reading apologetic books. Um, I love apologetics. I love understanding um, theology and different doctrines. I think it's so important for people to know what they believe in and to have that conviction. And I think also being a homeschooling mom, like for me, I think it's so important to also give those resources and those tools and understanding to our children because there's so many different things that the world wants our children to believe. And I think helping them learn and discern um, in seeking truth is so important and that's something that I want to be good at and I want to understand and I think that's how I started my journey and I'm just I have this hunger for knowledge and understanding and the truth and I think for me it's so important to just yeah to just pass that kind of wisdom onto my children and I pray for their wisdom. I pray that they have wisdom and discernment and that the Lord just uses them in a mighty way. So I think it's so important. This book, this this little tiny book, it's literally two dollars on Amazon and it's the best two dollars you'll spend in your whole life. And if you're a parent, um I highly recommend that you read this book. I just prayer and interceding for our children and their future is so important. Like it is so important and maybe I'll do another video about that. Okay, honey, I know. I've been on here for so long. I know. It's okay, baby. Look at you. You're such a sweet girl. Come here. Um, so, anywho, that's kind of a little bit of what we do and kind of how we study, how I study, I guess I should say. Um, and I think this might be it for this video. Um, but if not... I will continue it, but I think this might be it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, make sure you guys stick around for more videos. I'll try to do my best to be more consistent. I am just giving myself some grace. I, like I said, I just had a new baby six months ago. I have three kids total. Um, life is crazy. And so, you know, I just want to spend time with them and have more time together as a family. And so my highest priority is not YouTube. I would say my highest priority is my family. So, um, but I also want to say if you guys, um, yeah, want to follow along, um, you guys make sure you follow me on Instagram. I will link it down below. I will also link down my blog um, below. I will start posting more on there. And um, I'll link some of these books so you guys can take a look if you're interested. But I really appreciate you guys for being here. Um, and yeah, much love to every single one watching this video. OMG, my hand is getting tired. Um, Yes, yeah, so um, yeah, I just pray that you guys um, find some encouragement in this video and yeah, just spend your time with God, you guys. I know it's crazy with children, but you know, we need to get our daily manna um, every single morning. Like every single morning, we need that daily bread to give us the, the energy that we need to continue on and to focus on God. And so. There's so many other things that are fighting for our attention. But yeah, spending time with the Lord is so important. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Um, love you guys all so much. God bless you guys. Bye.